Welcome to a new tutorial where we will go and explain the next uh, VR element called display button. The display button is just uh, it will create a button where we can change and modify an object, uh, a mesh, a material, a texture, or, or another uh, uh, property. So while here swapping between them by looking at them with a side selector here we will see with icons the, the various options so let's create them it will be much clearer so first of all drag in the texture that we want to use give the name the floor options if i it will add swappable slots via switch, uh, switch action script just hit create creates this button for us i want to place it on the ground so Nine degrees and move it down Put a little bit more here over here you see everything is and in the switch type we can as I mentioned we will have a mesh a material a texture sprite or custom so we want to be able to change the texture of the floor with extra options so I know that my floor or we need to give assign the floor texture. We I'm using this because if I hit select my floor, the CC is wood, so I selected that one. Select my floor options, and automatically it detects the default diffuse texture and it put it uh, as the first target. So we want to change it. It's up to you whether you want a two, three, four, five, just to make it look nice we will have four options so one two three four we just drag and drop what it automatically does once you create the number of slots the textures you will also be asked to add uh, icon images because that way it will represent what you add over here we will see that in a bit so this just like a uh, smaller size of the actual texture and then convert it in a sprite so we can use it as a as a display icon so first the beach wood and you see that is automatically assigned here not assigned so if i select the third one let's say the marble tile and drag it in here it says marble tile selected as a texture so you make sure that you select the sprite so you don't mess it up and the last one is the Noche Americano or Noche Americano so now we need to select the correct sprite so this is the Beechwood I, it's very simple it's just 256 and these are the settings that you can make it smaller depending on what you want and the texture uh, type is a sprite so again we select our floor options then we set this one marble tile this one and this one so one once we're done and we go to the camera and test it we can point it to our button will see again now easily change yeah, because you have to because once if you look with a virtual reality cam uh, headset it's easy to point and select now I'm just rotating my camera is a little bit harder so that's it easy to set up and we can add as much as as many as we want but also one or two four five six and it will automatically i can show you if i add six and i just drag in the extra and duplicate it and then do this and then the next one was the marble tower again here so I don't have to rotate all the way 
till there. If I hit it, hit run, and then select my camera, move down, rotate. You see, automatically it lays out, so it's easy to select. So if I select this one, it's the one that I'm already using. So then select this one. Select this one. So that's it. Easy to set up and very powerful to use. Hope uh, the last step that we forgot because we added another menu icon. So we set this to 14 and drag in our floor options because we want to hide that one as well. And that makes our work and the buttons or the action types complete for now. The next tutorial will handle how to set up a trigger area that you then that we will use to open a door or close. Of course, you can use it for anything that I explained here as well. All the buttons that you here see, the action types, you can trigger them also with a, a trigger area. So, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.